we are looking for a safe bear of hands. Absolutely. Someone who will not rock the boat. <laughs> we don't want to recruit again after six months or a year. <laughs> Can you share with us, considering, I mean, taking your, your, your background, your experience as the background, why and how you are that safe pair of hands we are looking for? Even looking at my background, I'm not the one who could uh, rock the boat. Um, so far as I'm concerned, even as a judge, I have kind of transformed the principles and the vision and the vision of transformation in my own small chamber. Court of Appeal Judge Lady Justice Kalpana Rawal is now Kenya's Deputy Chief Justice designate, emerging the best of five candidates interviewed for the position of Kenya's next Deputy President of the Judiciary. She brings a wealth of experience and expertise to the office acquired over 40 years sojourn in the legal profession. The Lady Justice Rawal started her career in law by teaching administration and regular police officers at Loa Kabete in 1975, becoming the first woman lawyer to establish private practice in Kenya. She has 28 years experience in practice as an advocate, three of which she spent as an advocate of the High Court of India and the rest in Kenya. She holds a Bachelor of Arts degree, Bachelor and Master of Laws in Constitutional and Administrative Law. Justice Rawal also led the commission that was looking into the June 10, 2012 Ngong plane crash that killed Internal Security Minister George Saitoti, his deputy, Ora Ojode, two pilots and two bodyguards. Justice Rawa evinces mature patience and a humble disposition, which are qualities necessary for the office of the Deputy Chief Justice. Justice Rawa would be an important supportive asset to the office of Chief Justice and the entire judiciary. Rawal will have to be vetted by Parliament after it reconvenes and her nomination approved before appointment. I cannot answer it other than say that... Others interviewed for the position were Dr. Phoebe Nyawade, lawyers Joyce Majiwa and Lucy Kambuni and Ambassador Rachel Omamo. During the interviews, the candidates were questioned if they met requirements of Chapter 6 of the Constitution on contentious articles in the Constitution and their grasp of the law. Sally Bilu, Citizen Weekend.